Hey, this is Chris from Restaurant Psychology, and this is six menu changes that will increase your revenue. So number one, high ticket items. Dan Irely talks about this in his book, where he says if you want to sell $1,200 bread maker, add a $1,600 bread maker, and 12 one looks cheaper by comparison. So if you want to sell a $30 steak, the way to do it is to add a $50 steak to your menu. People won't necessarily buy the $50 steak, but they will buy more of the $30 steak. Number two, use boxes. If you want to draw people's attention to a dish, put a box around it. So do this with your more expensive items. Also works great with desserts because they're generally high markup. Number three, your wine list. People often choose the cheapest wine, but they'll often choose the second cheapest wine as well. So make sure you've got a high markup on both of those. And if you want to sell more of your most expensive wine, then remember the lesson we've just talked about and add an even more expensive bottle of wine to go on top of that to sell more of your existing bottle. Number four, use more for two dishes. When people see a price and it's per head, then they compare it based on that price, not the total price of the dish. This is especially true of couples because they're less price sensitive because no one wants to look cheap on a date. So if you've got things like a Chateaubriand or a starter platter for two, price them per head and you will sell more of them. Number five, alignment. If you write a line in your prices, people will compare your dishes based on the price and not what's in the dish. Whereas if you center align it, say under the name of the dish, people will compare the dishes on their merits, which is what you want to do because you want them to buy the nicer, more expensive dishes. And number six, people hate hard choices. And there's a famous experiment with jam where they found that if they actually reduced the number of choices, people bought and spent more. So simplify your menu, keep it really straightforward, make it easy for people to make decisions, and you will sell more food. So if you want more details on any of these steps, well obviously we've gone through them really quickly here, then click the link and you'll be taken to a blog post with loads of detail. Also, if you want more advice on getting more customers into your restaurant and getting more revenue, then head over to restaurantpsychology.net.